Yo, what is up guys? Madden23, man. In this video specifically, you will see a lot of new tackle animations and you might see a linebacker steal the ball from the wide receiver and it's considered an interception. But for the most part, it's pretty enjoyable. I like in the throwing meter, it's a step forward. Now, personally, I can't really tell you if Madden23 is worth it or not, but based on my couple games I played, I'm enjoying it, okay? Go ahead and do your research. I know Madden in the past hasn't had the best in terms of feedback, but go ahead and give it a shot. I mean, you might as well. It's it's okay, all right? It's not necessarily 100%, but you could tell they're going into the right direction. But without further ado, we got Malik Willis. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you remember back a few years ago with the Dallas Cowboys when Tony Romo was on top of that franchise, they truly believed that him at QB could have led them far into the Super Bowl, or not the Super Bowl, into the playoffs. Things didn't work out. But what I'm trying to get at is that Malik Willis could possibly do what Dak Prescott did to Tony Romo. No hard feelings, of course. Look, I know Ryan Tannehill, okay? Tannehill has been with us for a very long time up until the point where he got traded. But for the most part, Malik Willis, man, it's a new beginning for him. I mean, for him to get that, I guess, that bond at the end of the Ravens game with Lamar Jackson was pretty awesome and a heartsome moment because a lot of these quarterbacks, they get a lot of hate. But unfortunately, that's just the way the NFL is. I mean, trust me, that's just how critics are. But for the most part, I think Malik Willis could be something special. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's hop into this one. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Malik Willis looks clean in those baby blue Titan uniforms. Now, before I could even do anything, before I could change the depth chart, I'm thinking to myself, all right, Tannehill, you're not going to start. No pun intended. I have nothing against Tannehill. But check this out. As I kick the ball off, I never do those cheese kicks. You know where they kick it up or they lob it up and they kick it to your fullback. Look at this, man. I think this is Harris. He is gone all the way. Number 11 on the New Orleans Saints. First touch of any possession of any scrimmage yard. He ends up getting the kickoff return. Now, he's probably thinking I'm going to quit. No, I wasn't going to quit at all. I had to switch Malik Willis at a 69 overall. He has yet to play a regular NFL season game, which is pretty decent. Okay, that's a pretty good overall if you ask me. And check out Westbrook right here. Now, I was thinking to myself as well, Russell Westbrook? Nah, I don't know. Time fans, Westbrook making some plays, definitely getting some touches. We're driving downfield. We have to make something happen because after giving off that kickoff return, that is not the way you want to start. And my boy, Derek Henry getting the touchdown. I don't even know how Derek Henry fell into the second round. Was it because he was too tall? Did the scouts didn't think that he wasn't able to make a full position or transition to a running back even though he played running back his entire career and look at Jerry yes bird right here one of my favorite safeties now I made a video in the past about just in general overall the safeties you have to understand it's no more like Sean Taylor's it's no more like Brian Dawkins Ed Reed it's all about zone coverage now now sure there are some a little bit of hard-hitting safeties but for the most part you got some heavy zone coverage players and check this out Oh man, the momentum is swinging all the way. We end up giving up an interception. Now, yes, that counts as an interception for the debut. David Onyemata, I don't know how to pronounce that, ends up getting the INT. Wow, could you believe that? My first interception with Malik Willis happened to be, a, I say an incomplete pass, but then ends up getting intercepted. But just like that, we come back with Derek Henry. Henry, if you ask me as well, I think Henry could possibly be still top five running back, if not top two. Jonathan Taylor is definitely in that conversation. But you guys remember when David got that touchdown? Hold on. My boy Derek Henry claps back. We end up getting our INT or our touchdown celebration. And defense once again makes another great play. The user interception is there. Sometimes you have to adjust yourself. The players don't play in their zone sometimes. But hey, we made a play there. So just like that, we get the ball back. All we have to do is play smart. We're, on ear, we're, <laughs> we're ending the near of the second quarter. And check this out. Could you believe this right here? I think that's Demario Davis. He steals the ball away from my wide receiver. 
ends up getting the INT and that's perfect. I wasn't mad at that at all. You want to know why? Because that's something that you never see in all at all in previous Madden. So that's just a step into the right direction of seeing new animations come out or new plays in general. You definitely want to see that. So I was not mad at all. We're heading into the end of the second half though. Look at the score, man. It's a one possession game. It's just a field goal. It's no biggie. And oh my goodness, man. On that third down, Cameron Jordan just completely blindsides Malik. Now look, Malik, this is your welcome to the NFL moment, okay? It's nothing but love for him, but he ends up getting rocked right there. And just like that, Jameis wins to drive downfield. And right here, I'm thinking to myself, I got an INT. But the rookie, Olive. Okay, okay, St. fans, who that nation? I had a series going on with my boy Olive and Jameis Winston. Awesome, man. That combination is deadly, okay? All it is, all they have to do, especially in real life, is make those plays happen. But right there, if you guys seen the down, it was fourth down. I ended up going for it on a zig route. The player was there. So the, you, sometimes the corners in previous Madden, especially Madden 22, they didn't do that. But right there, they definitely made a play. But wait just a minute now. What is going on? DBs are putting in the work. Lockdown corners. Let's get it, Jameis. Jameis ends up getting the stop, and that is a crucial stop. You want to know why? Because we don't get the touchdown. That's why. But all we have to do is keep our head up. Keep that momentum going. Every turnover, we got to score. And Derrick Henry, second touchdown of the game. Let's go. Derrick Henry showing why he's a beast. And if not... The best running back in the game. Could be a conversation, right? Just a big player, man. Just like a hybrid wide receiver, but he's not a wide receiver. But anyways, Bud Dupree sacks Jameis. And Bud Dupree, man, if you guys didn't know, he played for the Titans. If you guys remember as well, he used to troll Le'Veon Bell because of that whole contract situation. Anyways, that's besides the point. He ends up hunting the ball, okay? Defense makes some great plays. All we have to do, well, I definitely don't want to settle for a field goal, okay? The field goal is not what I want to settle for. We definitely want to get this touchdown. So Malik Willis, being a first, or not, was he a first rounder? I don't know, oh man, they didn't see. That's my fault, man, I gotta know my information. But anyways, Malik Willis, we gotta make some plays happen and check out this play by Westbrook. Westbrook, could he go all the way? No, he could not, not the fastest, but definitely the sharpest so far in this game when it comes to my wide receivers. The wide receivers for the Titans is looking decent. Even though they lost Julio Jones, he really didn't do much there. But check this out. On the third down, the newly addition coming from the Los Angeles Rams. Robert Woods ends up scoring the touchdown. Let's go. The game-winning comeback right here. Malik Willis, let's get it, man. Robert Woods, man. He's definitely a... I'd say he could be another big factor for the Titans. It just depends on how you use him. Look at the clock. Jameis only has a few seconds left in the fourth quarter. And wait just a minute now. Hooker. Hooker, the safety, ends up getting the INT. Malik Willis' debut game against the New Orleans Saints is a W. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. Leave a like and subscribe. Really appreciate that. You guys see the coach. Coach, Malik Willis, new starter, okay? I mean, don't quote me on that, but he, he definitely should start, okay? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it once again. Peace out and have a great day.